And welcome back. Happy Thursday. Happy first day of school to the freshmen over here at Rylander High School. That This place will be busy in just a little while, but for now it's quiet out here, which means we get to prep you for your weather forecast now. And we're starting to see some daylight outside. Let's take a look at things over in Eagle River right now on the graphics. And things looking pretty decent and quiet over in Eagle River for now, but that will also be changing soon with the first day of school just around the corner. But for now, though, radar and satellite looking pretty quiet out there. I don't see a cloud in the sky out here, so there very beautiful out here this morning. Just a little bit cooler out there. We'll show you those temperatures in just a few minutes. But a warm front further out towards the north and east and high pressure to the south. That will help to usher in a gusty southwest flow up to 15 miles per hour. And that will help the warm temperatures up in the 80s today. So that'll be nice, right? But for now, we're in the upper 40s in Lando Lakes and also Manitowish Waters. Also Eagle River, lower 50s in Rylander with lower 60s over in the Wausau area and a few upper 50s farther down toward the south. Our average high is now 74 degrees. We'll be in the middle 80s today and tomorrow. Lower 70s Saturday and Sunday back in the upper 70s Monday with lower 80s making a return as we head towards Tuesday and also into Wednesday. Your muggy mirror though showing dew points will be on the rise later on maybe as early as today and the lower to middle 60s so you might feel that outside a little bit before you fall back into the more comfortable territory on Saturday and Sunday. Then by Monday and Tuesday, we're back in the lower to middle 60s for those dew points again. So summer trying to hang on around here, though, but it's going to have a hard time doing so as the seasons start to turn. Of course, some gusty winds on the way today, reaching up to 15 miles per hour in a few spots out of the southwest. These are the wind gusts. The sustained winds will be just a little bit lower than that, but some of those gusts tomorrow could reach up to around 25, even 30 miles per hour in a few spots through the daytime tomorrow, so make sure to be ready for that. But again, future cast moving forward, a beautiful day. Maybe just a few passing clouds as we get the daytime heating going. But otherwise, looking pretty good out there. We'll remain relatively quiet tonight, though. Maybe a few clouds for our southern counties. And maybe a small chance for a few rain showers as we get towards early Friday morning. Most of that will miss us to the south. But otherwise, though, we'll be watching the northwest by about 6 p.m. Friday evening. Not ideal for the football games. A line of showers and storms. We'll try to move through some gusty winds and maybe some hail possible with those of some storms. They try to get on the stronger side. It might briefly delay things, and that'll be about it. So you should be able to get those games in. Just keep an eye to the sky. Of course, with that in mind, though, here's our marginal risk with some of the storms. Try to get on the stronger side, though, with again some gusty winds and a little bit of hail in a few areas. So that forecast for today, though, beautiful out there. Mostly sunny, high in the mid 80s, a southwest wind getting up to about 15 miles per hour. Later on tonight, mostly clear up, lows in the lower 60s, we'll have southwest breeze at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. All righty, that Northwood furniture and mattress, seven day forecast, not too bad out there. A slight chance for storms for your Friday, highs in the mid 80s. The better chances for storms arriving by Friday night. Then the weekend and Labor Day, looking beautiful, temperatures in the 70s with a mixture of clouds and sun.